Today we're going to check out some really cool spots in McKinney, starting in downtown. But you guys know me, I love coffee. We're going to go check out this popular coffee shop here in downtown McKinney called Layered. <music> All right, we just got our coffee. Um, I'm a very plain coffee orderer, so I got just an Americano. It's usually an Americano plain or a drip coffee or cold brew plain. Uh, it's pretty good. It was a cool little spot. Now we're just walking around downtown McKinney. There's over 120 shops that are available in this area. So there's it can give you a pretty good full day or even half day of just shopping and dining uh, here. There's a Mellow Mushroom coming up on the opposite street side. Uh, Urban Loft for Men's and Clothing Boutique. Um, it's like a cool little spot. And then the Apple Boulevard. Uh, it is Valentine's week, so that's kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> getting some stairs, people. The House of Gems. Cool little uh, sculpture shop as well. Um, Downtown McKinney is also known for its live music. They have a lot of cool spots uh, where you come late at night and you can listen to tons of different music. Kind of gives that deep Ellum or even Austin vibe of having opportunities to listen to music uh, on a weekly basis. By the way, my name is Eric. If this is your first time seeing, um, I am a realtor here. Just wanted to kind of showcase the spots in McKinney. And if you guys live in McKinney, Leave a comment and let me know what some of your favorite spots are in town. I'd love to get a little bit more insight from some locals. Uh, you can also reach me at the text below, my phone number or email, um, and let's go check out some other spots around town. Now we're going to check out some immediate homes in downtown McKinney. This is a historic district, meaning that the outside of the homes have to be restored to their original uh, architecture while well, you can remodel the inside and I do love the craftsman style and the Victorian style homes that were built in the late 1800s early 1900s for this area this first home is listed at three hundred and twenty five thousand dollars it's a two bed one bath and it's one thousand three hundred twenty square feet built in 1930 The second listing is listed at $575,000. This 2,649 square feet. It has been updated some, but could use a little bit more TLC. And it was built in 1925. This third home is listed at $825,000. It's four bed, three bath, 3,292 square feet. and was built in 1930. I do love the character of this home as it has been updated, but still has its original feel of like the early 1900s. One of the pros of living in McKinney, Texas is that it's one of the safest cities in North Texas, according to upcity.com. We're checking out the Adriatica Village here in town. It's got a really cool feel with a European style cobblestone streets. It has a lake that's stocked for fishing. It's got a little stage for uh, late night music and a little turf area for people to sit at. It has also a lot of restaurants and uh, residences, multifamily units as well. So there's a lot of apartments as you see behind me. Uh, it's got a really cool fountain also, but it also has a gym. Let's, let's hear a little bit more about the single family home stats. If you're looking for a home in the Adriatica village, then you really need to keep your eyes open. As in the last year, there's only been three homes that have sold while one is currently active. The average price home sold is 1,462,500. 
the average square footage of those homes is 3,858 square feet. A con of living in McKinney is that there's actually no public transportation. So while you do probably need a car here in the Metroplex because everything's so spread out, it is uh, an issue just getting around McKinney. But there is an option. Uh, there are some cows and livestock that you could hop on and travel around town um, and enjoy enjoy the weather uh, and, and just some time with you and big old moose here. Now we're going to check out the Lake Forest community by Grand Homes. Grand, for those that you don't know, is one of the top builders here in North Texas. And you're going to, I'm excited to show you to see why they're voted one of the top builders with their finish outs. Let's go take a look. So immediately when you walk in, you have the for formal dining area right here. And I just love the accent wall that runs all the way up from floor to ceiling. Uh, it's very unique. And then also a little hidden gem is the wine cellar right here. That's really cool. Um, Grand Homes is known for their very unique uh, wine cellars under the stairs. And this is a really cool one. Now we're going to go over to the designated office area. There's a lot of mirrors over here. But another great spot to be in front of the home and really just get that sunshine in, get that energy flowing when you're trading your stocks or making that call to get that big sale or do whatever it is that you do. This is such a, a very cool and inspiring space to be productive for work. Now we're going to come into the main area, the kitchen first. I love the waterfall island and this granite. It's very unique and that you have these see-through cabinetry, the fluorescent lighting underneath the cabinetry. There's mints. I'm probably going to take one because I had a sandwich for lunch with onions. So need that for later. Um, but also that it has a fire um, stove uh, instead of an electric stove. That's really big for you chefs out there. Um, I love to cook and this is much better than what I have with the electric stove. But beautiful just ambiance of this kitchen. A side note real quick of hosting. You have this little mini bar right here. Really cool spot um, to serve drinks to friends or lay out food, etc. And now we're going to what I think is a really cool part of the home. And the focal point is the fireplace. Runs all the way up in the living room. It has this uh, faux electric fireplace but very modern which goes very well with the design and touches of this home itself and then along with the custom bookshelving on each side as well and it's just very open i love how the ceilings run all the way up and and give this a much bigger feel because this is a little smaller living space but because the ceilings are so tall it feels very open a half bath for guests Again, the designs here are just incredible and probably one of the better ones out of all the builders here in North Texas. Now we're coming into the primary bedroom and I just love the coffer faux ceilings and designs and this light fixture as well. This is such a big space. It is a little off center from the entire home, but there's still enough room for the king size bed and, and nightstands as well and a dresser. Now coming into the primary bathroom, this is absolutely amazing. I feel like I'm in a, a resort spa with this um, tub and the shower as well. Then having a little sitting area also. And I love just the tile design in here also. Then you've got your commode area and then a pretty good size closet as well. So again, this bathroom is just absolutely stunning. What I also love too is having access to the outdoor patio area off of the primary suite area. Let's figure out how to open the door, Eric. There we go. But very cool to have this little covered area to sit and have a coffee in the morning and then enjoy the yard as well. Now we're gonna check out the upstairs. Let's take a look as it has three bedrooms. This room, the accent wall, it's the accent wall for me. Just look at this. This is becoming very popular with designers now. 
Um, the Rubik's Cube lighting, it's a little not my taste, but it is still really cool. Um, I guess this is more for kiddos as uh, that will be a head bump for me all the time. And then it does have a little closet right here as well. Um, a little stand-in closet to put some clothes in. Now the upstairs itself is one of the best uh, designs I've ever seen. Just with the shelving, the coffered accent walls again. And then we also actually have a full bathroom right here. So it is one thing I like that all the rooms kind of have their own designated bathrooms. I do love how the countertop is matching with the kitchen island countertop downstairs. But coming back in here, this is such a cool little area. You can make it a little office uh, with the shelving and the lighting as well. And then coming into the game room slash man cave slash media room, whatever you want. Um, this is just stunning. I love that there's fluorescent lighting underneath right here to lighten it up a little bit. It's nice that you have the KitchenAid so you don't have to go downstairs to bug the wife or mom for uh, some drinks and yell, Mom, meatloaf, you know, just it's all right there. It's right there. Um, but this little area, too, is pretty awesome. I love the ambiance of it. Again, the light fixtures in this home are stunning. Uh, I don't think any other builder goes all out like Grand does for their designs and touches. So this is a really cool spot. Then we're coming into another guest bedroom. Uh, I, this is a pretty big space. I really love this. I love this accent wall. Don't think it's, yeah, it's just wallpaper. I thought it was actual wood. The herringbone uh, design is just really cool and gives it a much bigger feel. This is already a big room, but I just love how that up on the wall gets a little bit more. Then we have a, a decent sized closet as well. Uh, I'm a big guy, so I can stand in here. So I think that should be enough clothes for the kiddos or guests that are coming in here. Now we're going to go to the Jack and Jill shared bathroom. As you can see here, um, it's a really unique uh, vanity and the, the style. Of the hair, they're continuing the herringbone design uh, with that tile there. And it's really cool. And we're going to the third guest bedroom. This one's a little smaller, but still a very good size for a guest bedroom. Again, they have a... Uh, what are those those suction balls that you like throw when I was when we were kids? Uh, that's what this reminds me of. Really cool uh, design as well, um, but that's what that reminds me of for some reason. So then another good sized closet right here. So again, uh, Grand Homes is phenomenal. These finish outs, the ceiling up in this room with the beam and that 3D texture to give it a, a different unique feel that you don't see and then overlooking the living room as well. If you love golf but suck at it and have to go searching for golf balls like me, McKinney's the perfect spot. They have nine different golf courses, 47 golf courses within a 20 mile radius. And today we're gonna check out El Dorado here and we'll see what kind of amenities and we'll give you a little bit more of information about this country club. This country club offers multiple membership opportunities with the golf tier and then a non-golf tier. The golf tier is going to include your 18-hole golf course, your driving range, your putting green, your chipping area, a practice bunker, and also includes the junior Olympic size swimming pool. The social membership includes eight LED tennis court lights, also for pickleball, the Junior Olympic size outdoor pool, a fitness center with group exercise studio and dining and social events. Another pro of McKinney is I love that it has that small town feel. As you can see, there's like older restored homes um, that have that unique design uh, as well as just this old uh, telephone booth, which 
I haven't seen in a long time. Uh, but it also to piggyback off of the live music, Hanks is just a mile away from downtown McKinney. There's a lot of great country music and live music there. A con to McKinney is that it is a far commute from downtown Dallas. It's about 30 miles north of downtown Dallas. So with traffic, it can be an hour to hour, 20 minutes. Uh, they are trying to rebuild 75 and have some plans to expand it to make it a little quicker commute. Um, but that is a con of living in McKinney. Now we're going to check out the three high schools in McKinney. But first, we're going to look at this amazing football stadium. We're very passionate about high school football here in Texas. As you can see, all these school districts have built these college-like facilities, which is amazing for the students. This particular one costs $70 million to build and holds just over 12,000 fans. McKinney ISD is a great school district in North Texas, and the first school here is McKinney Boyd. According to Niche.com, it has an A rating, currently has just over 2,700 students, and the average SAT score is a 1210, while the average ACT score is a 27. It also has a 17 to 1 student to teacher ratio. McKinney High also has an A rating from Niche.com, and has just over 2,900 students. The average SAT score is an 1180, while the average ACT score is 25. McKinney High has a student-teacher ratio of 16 to 1. McKinney North also has an A rating from Niche.com. It's one of the top schools for athletes with over 22 athletic teams. And it's also ranked top 6% of public schools in Texas. It also has just over 2,000 students and has over 50 pre-AP and dual credit courses. The average SAT score is an 1170 and the average ACT score is 26. It has a 16 to 1 student to teacher ratio. Hey guys, thanks for checking out with Ken McKinney with me. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, if you like looking for your golf balls, here's a prime example right over here of a gentleman doing so. Uh, but anyways, hopefully you found some value in today's video. Uh, if you're from McKinney or from the area and I miss a spot that you guys really like, I'd love for you to leave a comment and let me know where that spot is. So for future uh, videos and other people watching, they know some cool little local spots in town. Uh, if you want to see some more videos and know when they're coming out, please like and subscribe and hit that bell button. And if you want your home value, please look in the description. I'll have a link below for you to click that and we can set up a call to give you an idea of what your home value is worth. Uh, thanks again, guys. I look forward to seeing you all next week.